Very few quarterbacks will look good in comparison to Patrick Mahomes, who's been way more prolific than Mitchell Trubisky and pretty much anyone since they both entered the league. Mahomes averages 100 more passing yards per game and has thrown 25 more touchdowns despite playing in 10 fewer games, Greeny. This, to me, is the most interesting psychologically story of the day, and there's so much to this. Okay, so look, we've been tough on Trubisky here over the course of the season because we've been honest, and for most of the season, he played terribly. They, he, you could make an argument. He was the worst starting quarterback in the NFL. It's trended in a more positive direction the last four weeks. But the one area in which I will defend him completely is Mitchell Trubisky did not draft himself ahead of Patrick Mahomes and or Deshaun Watson. That is his lot in life. And he, like Sam Bowie being famously drafted ahead of Michael Jordan, will always wear that. And it is to a degree unfair because he can't do anything about it. He's never going to be as good as those guys. Yeah. So imagine putting yourself in that position. I'm the guy and my entire fan base, every single time my name comes up, they say, you know, we could have had Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I mean, it's an unfortunate position, but it's the card that you've been dealt if you're Mitch Trubisky. And if I'm here, I can't, I can't worry about the fact that, you know, the Chicago Bears decided to, you know, to take me in and, and not take, you know, Deshaun Watson or Patrick Mahomes. Listen, nobody knew that Patrick Mahomes was going to be this yeah. great at this point and, er, you know, this early in his career. And obviously people saw what Deshaun Watson did at Clemson, so there's always going to be that <laughs> link between the two. But... Mitchell. I can't sit here and slam yeah. Mitchell Trubisky. I think yeah, he's no, he, like, listen, this. I got drafted number two. I can only control the things that I can control at this point. Mitchell Trubisky, like, it's none of this is his fault. And he also made the mistake of being publicly honest about some of his other, like, emotional fragility and talking about, which I think a lot of players and a lot of quarterbacks probably feel the same way when he said he wanted the TVs off because they was just saying negative things about him. I think other players feel that way, but he made the mistake of being honest about it. So I think this makes us all think that maybe he's not going to be able to handle this type of pressure and that not only the fact that he may not be good enough, the, on top of it, this pressure of him trying to live up to a draft position, it could make him push and press and not play as well as he, his potential shows. You know, listen, I know the Chiefs, they loved Patrick Mahomes when they drafted him. They loved him. But I go back to spending some time with them in Mexico City a few weeks back, and they said to me that they didn't even realize how good he was that when training camp started, <laughs> there were scouts and coaches in that building who couldn't wait to go back after the first two weeks of training camp to watch the tape of him versus the third string right. offense because they said, look at this guy, it's unbelievable. But if we go back to the draft itself, Greeny, the Chiefs, as much as they love Mahomes, they were rare there. Most people, most people had Mitchell Trubisky as the top-rated quarterback in that draft. I remember speaking to front offices that week, them saying, Trubisky's the guy. We look at the pre Draft grades from 2017, according to scouts, saying, "Look at the grades." Yeah, but Trubisky 89, I Watson 88, Mahomes 84, this and is... there was even a conversation that the Browns were going to go Trubisky at one over Miles Garrett. We didn't hear Watson at one. We didn't hear Mahomes at one. We heard Trubisky or Garrett. They went Garrett. So I think again, the, the story there is there was too much film on Watson, not enough film on Trubisky, because you can project all these things when you only have a little bit of film on a guy. And as Patrick Mahomes, people explained it away because it's Texas Tech. Everybody throws for a zillion yards at Texas Tech, but I don't understand how you don't, how football coaches and decision makers don't see what Deshaun Watson did. I understand how you pass over Mahomes because it's Texas Tech, but what Deshaun Watson was able to do in Clemson, I don't understand how you pass that up. I'm like, I'm watching this whole thing up. I'm like. Who who is this guy from North Carolina? Yeah. And we're picking number two over Deshaun Watson. What what am I? I'm I'm sitting there. I'm, this is just me. What am, what am, what am I missing here? Yeah. Well, this is a Deshaun Watson who went against Nick Saban's like NFL's type defense I know, I know and it. shredded him like two it. years in a row. I know it wasn't that long ago, but I still think the mindset, the mindset that has probably been killed this year, but the mindset of a college guy playing college style can't survive in the NFL. And you saw Deshaun Watson, you're like, he's not, he doesn't have a great strong arm. He's not like super accurate, and he's he's very athletic. But remember how that, that Alabama defense was. This I know. Is, you know I'm they falling off. I, and you I, saw I Deshaun did a, Watson I did a play against that defense. I'm a, like, I'm just sitting there scratching my head like, and what, what, what the hell what, what, what did Dabo thinking? Sweeney say? If you pass on Deshaun yeah, Watson, you're passing Jordan. on Michael Jordan. Right. Right. Listen, the crazy thing about Mitchell Trubisky is that his own coaches at North Carolina didn't even think he was that good. He was there for a long time, only ended up getting 13 starts because another guy was playing quarterback for them. Yeah, but that's another one that wasn't his decision. Like, right. I, I, there, There's so much of this that I find fascinating. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.